Hello, my name is Chris and I will look at the 2022 Subaru Outback. This is the Wilderness model. Subaru offers unique features with the Wilderness model, including a raised suspension with 23 centimeters of ground clearance or 9 inches, exclusive 17 inch wheels, exclusive front and rear bumper with four tow hook points, shorter ratio transfer and rear differential gearing, and LED steering responsive headlights. Subaru even offers one year of Parks Canada Pass for a limited time, but I think by now you get the picture. Subaru wants the outdoorsy cred. I think they've nailed it. This of course does not change the basic qualities and flaws of the Outback. The exterior looks deceivingly short and long on video, but when you're next to it, it's clearly a crossover, it's so tall. Outback's looks are an acquired taste that I have not yet acquired. This Outback, so big on the outside, is enormous on the inside for people and stuff. It is reasonably quiet on the highway, which is improved over older versions. This infotainment is not the best, and despite its large screen, it unfortunately combines the climate functions with the infotainment functions. It makes interacting with the climate features more distracting than it should be. Also, if the screen gives out, you can't adjust the climate controls anymore. The interior surface quality feels appropriate, durable and well put together, similar to the RAV4 in terms of material durable feel. Outback gets good seats, average leather steering wheel, dated dash layout, and softly set vehicle interfaces. The interior design is not groundbreaking, but there are zero rattles and Outback feels extremely airy. This is very pleasing on gloomy days during the daily grind. The combination of the space, the seats, the softly set interfaces that resemble a Honda, the relatively quiet cabin, the huge windows and excellent visibility, the unique exterior, the top level four wheel drive which Quebecers have a hard on for, and a feeling of ruggedness that is also easy to live with make Outback desirable despite its shortcomings. There is no other vehicle quite like it. Standard features on the base Outback includes the EyeSight, which is Subaru's driving aids, a heated steering wheel, LED lights, and 7-inch infotainment with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The engine is a 2.4-liter turbo on this model with a CVT. It makes 260 horsepower, 277 pounds of torque, plenty. Fuel economy is 10.9 liters in the city, 8.9 liters on the highway, or 26 32 mpg, which is okay. Base models get a non-turbo version. Here are my thoughts on the road. Hello car lovers, driving the 2022 Subaru Outback Wilderness. What to say about this vehicle? Well, uh, this vehicle, it's, it's kind of like epitomizes Subaru for me. When you look at it in pictures, it looks kind of a bit weird. It looks, is it a station wagon? Is it a, is it a crossover? What is it? And when you uh, see it in person, you realize, first of all, it's much more bulky than you thought it was. It's much higher off the ground and much taller than you thought it was. And it's just, it's just bigger, right? And it looks more sturdy. It looks tougher. It really looks well put together. And these things translate well on the inside. And that, that is a theme that runs out throughout the Subaru lineup. In sitting inside here, great seating height excellent visibility i love these big windows subaru has the biggest windows and it's something you appreciate with time you just have this great visibility everywhere i was on the highway with it before they've worked on the sound insulation i was reading that through the suspension system they're they're working they worked on it so that it would transmit less noise vibration and harshness i felt it on the highway and uh, i think you will too so from generation to generation subaru is just getting better and better at that catching up to the competition if you want in a certain sense these seats are very comfortable this this layout here it is a bit of a mixed bag you know when you're in the impressa it doesn't bother you too much because it doesn't cost that much but this vehicle i think it's around 44 45 thousand dollars this wilderness um certainly i would recommend perhaps a lower trim model there's the four cylinder non-turbo with leather and and uh, the harnam karnam sound system i think that's the one to go for that's the value pick in this wilderness this interior i find this infotainment really pissing me off to no end with this with this climate control integrated with really small buttons i think uh, all these driving aids including these uh forward collision warnings 
probably going to be useful when you're fumbling around in your temperature or just the fan speed not accessible at all quickly uh, this dash becoming dated this steering wheel feeling kind of cheap i can't think of a competitor that has a cheaper steering wheel for forty four thousand dollars and uh, it's just I, I, i've been i've been less hard on the cheaper subaru products such as the forester the legacy uh the impressa however getting at this price it's 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 really beginning to be noticeable uh, as a 2022 the, the the lack of innovation in terms of the design quality and that's what i have to say about that i don't think it's a deal breaker i think if you like your subaru this is going to be fine because you do get the driving technologies you do get apple carplay android auto you get wireless charging here in this model this is really good stuff you know i'm not saying that the options aren't there i'm just saying the general presentation although this this screen you know you think about it from an engineer's perspective he's doing a checklist right big screen big infotainment screen check yeah you do have it except I don't like using it, especially for the climate control. Overall qualities, well, this interior does have a rugged feel. It, these, these materials, although not the most um, luxurious, certainly feel rugged and long, long lasting. And if you get them dirty, they'll, they'll be easy to clean. So really good on that level. I think in terms of fulfilling its basic mission of being an outdoorsy vehicle, very good Subaru. When you fold the seats back, really a, lo a lot of storage room. It's like crazy how much storage room you have. Another thing about Subaru that I like is that they're they're well they're well optioned up, right? When you optioned up, often you don't have to get the highest model to get the, the luxury sound system, and uh, or the leather. So really good on that level. You can save a bit of money getting the mid trim models. So something to think about because when you're shopping. This Subaru seems a little bit more expensive than its competitors. However, when you go up in option, you pretty much get everything you will in the all-equipped, lesser-priced, compact uh, crossover. So it's something to think about when you're shopping. Shop diligently. Really, if you want to think about what this vehicle is, I think if you think about the Mazda CX-5, it's the total opposite of that vehicle, right? And not too spacious on the inside, hyper-luxurious on the inside, uh, a zesty powertrain here softer suspension these these tires which have really high ratio tires which i think is perfect for the montreal trail the montreal trail is designed i think for the outback right it's rugged it hits the bumps well sometimes there's no asphalt here in montreal they have like this construction which lasts forever you can never seem to see a construction crew anywhere in montreal doing work there's a lot of workstations but not a lot of construction workers it's kind of weird and that way uh, the, the outback is ideally suited for the montreal trail and uh, those are my thoughts about Subaru. Overall, I'd have to say a very good vehicle on the lease, a very good vehicle on the purchase. And uh, although these vehicles tend to last a long time, when they do break and they don't break often, they are pretty expensive to repair. I've heard that from many Subaru owners. So uh, now you have the information to make an intelligent purchase. By the way, if you like this video, like it. If you don't like it, don't like it. And if you really like it, well, then, of course, you should subscribe. And that is it.